lots of stocks are moving. Land continues to sink. Uh, there is Glenmark, there is Divis, which are moving around on the back of earnings as well. Uh, let's uh, bring in Ekta, uh, who's uh, got a compilation of uh, the most important stuff we need to know from the pharmaceutical space. Ekta, hi. Hi, thanks for that. Well, I'll start with Gland Pharma. You know, the stock is down today as well. Remember that it's corrected significantly, almost around 70% from its 52-week high. Morgan Stanley has downgraded the stock, post its numbers to equal weight with the target price of 1035 The downgrade is in view of a worsening injectable CDMO industry dynamic, uncertain outcome from customer contracts, distant benefits from strategic initiatives. They've cut the FI 24-25 EPS estimates by over 30% 30, 30 respectively as well. Glenmark, the numbers were largely in line. So revenue was up around 11.5%. US sales came in at around $104 million versus estimates of $100 million. Margins closed to around 18 odd percent, which was in line with estimates. But there was a one-time loss on account of settlement or related to a drug, Zetia generic. There were remediation costs which were undertaken this quarter. It is expected to take per off going forward. India was down around 6.4% on a year-on-year -year basis, but that was on account of multiple factors such as the NLEM cost revision as well as uh, COVID-19 base. What probably di uh, disappointed the street the most was the gross debt, which was higher on a year-on-year -year basis. The company, however, has said that they are looking to reduce debt in the next three odd years. Remember that the stock has also seen a strong run-up, so that's probably another reason why you're seeing that profit booking come through. Uh, Devi's Labs, uh, the Q4 numbers, the revenue was better than estimates. The margins also recovered Q on Q, but the margin recovery was lower than what the street had anticipated. But the commentary seemed to be positive. They expect gross margins to recover towards the year end. The company has shown Q on Q growth in key segments such as custom synthesis as well as the generic API segment. And the company has said that they have two custom synthesis projects which should start generating revenue. Jefferies has upgraded the stock to buy from underperform and HSBC has upgraded the stock to hold from reduce as well, possibly on the fact that uh, these brokerages do believe that maybe the worst is over. All right. Thanks a lot for that, Ekta. Well, Dilip Bhatt joins us on the show. Hi,